what's going on guys this is Tito back with another Windows 11 update video and this is again on the dev channel 22458.1000 this is the 16th September 2021 so latest build as of right now and I'll show you what are the improvements or changes in this particular build so let's begin now of course there are minor differences in the features but there are major differences in performance in this build first of all if you're noticing this taskbar yes the icons are still a little bit aligned to the right but yes it is definitely a little better from the previous update it looks like so yes the icons on the taskbar are still aligned a little bit to the right more and that's how it is but i'm not really sure if they will fix these icons with the new october 5th stable update of windows 11 which microsoft has announced officially but yeah as of right now this is how the icons are aligned to the right side a little bit even though when you have the icon set to center of the taskbar but let me show you the new power menu over here in the start menu this is how still it looks like and if you click on the power menu now there is this sign in option is there and this is how the sleep shutdown and restart kind of things looks like and if you go into the sign in option and now you can choose from here if you have been away when should windows require you to sign in and you can change this to pc when wakes up or never and we have this dynamic lock not really sure how this will work but yes this feature is there and we have this automatically save my restartable apps and stuff then we have show account details etc in the sign in screen and we have the use my sign in info automatically finish setup after update and stuff so yeah all these things are there and you can change these if you want to now opening up everything is pretty fast right now over here let me just open something like the microsoft store of course and this is how the stores like animation looks like and here is how the new store looks like still and it still has these kind of animation when you hover around some stuff and if you go into the library yes i have like checked for updates and i have tried to update multiple things over here i just opened this so that you can see on the right how much is the performance or how much is the cpu usage by the way i have a i5 7400 or 7th gen i5 desktop cpu and i have 8 gigs of single channel memory over here and everything is like getting recorded with obs and this is with the integrated gpu now let's focus on the performance stuff over here clearly well earlier i have seen when my pc is in idle condition or it's not doing anything the cpu usage used to be like 50 60 percent plus but as of right now my cpu usage has been dropped quite a lot and the cpu is not getting used when it's not like actually doing anything so that is great right now i'm just recording the screen that's why it's getting used like 10 to 15 percent but if i'm not doing anything it goes to like one percent so yeah right now the cpu usage seems to be pretty fine but the real difference is in the performance so let me actually show you i did test the geekbench over here again the geekbench 5 scores and let me show you the results now on the left side is the new score on this particular 22458 build this in the middle has the 22454 builds performance benchmarks and on the right this is a benchmark from 2019 of course on windows 10 so you can see in 2019 i got 892 single core score and in the 22454 or the previous build of windows 11 i got 861 so that has dropped quite a lot but on this particular build the 22458 build has improved the performance drastically as you can see the single core performance i have got about 926 so i would say that is a huge improvement this 926 score and previously it was 861 for me so yeah and again that is much better performance even from windows 10 score as you can see i got 892 back then in 2019 but right now i got 926 points in single core again in multi-thread 2 you will see a huge improvements almost 600 plus points improvements in the middle again the 22454 build of windows 11 i got 2211 and on this particular build the latest 22458 build i got 2837 multi-core score and even from windows 10 if you compare i have got 2629 with same specs and everything of course and this score was pretty good i would say back then in 2019 but right now i have got 2837 so that is again a huge improvement almost like 200 plus points improvements from the stable windows 10's performance even so i would say definitely right now the windows 11 is showing its performance benefits and definitely on this particular build i am noticing that some stuff you still cannot do is like let me actually open this new folder 
and right now if I want to drag and drop it on this like particular folder from the taskbar that is still not possible so yeah those things may disappoint you still but yes it has improved and it is improving with every update now one glitch that I am noticing over here like let's assume I am here in this file explorer and I am in this PC kind of mode over here so right now if I just like track this kind of thing and if I maximize it or try to increase the size as you can see there is some like weird artifacts if you're noticing so yeah this thing is happening in this particular update I guess and it was not happening earlier I don't know if it's a IGP issue or something but yeah this is what I am seeing on this particular update not really sure if like this is with my PC only but yeah this artifact effects so yeah this might be a bug but they may fix it in the future updates by the way when you right click this is how still it looks like and we have all these options and you can change your wallpaper by just clicking on next extra background and once you are opening any particular photo this is how it will look like with the photos app let me just maximize it over here and with this button right here you can make it full screen if you want to so yeah and you can edit over here let me actually show you how the editing of this photo looks like so this is how it looks like we have this kind of look we have this straightening then rotate flip and the aspect ratio changing option yes this flipping option and stuff everything is working over here not a problem also we have these filters you can change the filters from right here as you can see a lot of options are there and you can also change the filter intensity and stuff so from this microsoft's photos app of course you can edit a lot right now so that is great and we have the adjustments so you can add the light as you are noticing however you want to and even the color you can like make it pop more or something so yeah as you are noticing you can change a lot of stuff then the clarity also you can improve from right here it looks like a little bit of the HDR kind of effect and we have the vignette over here and you can make it white or black on the corners so yeah all these options are there spot fix is also there so huge like improvement on the photos app I would say you can save it from right here or save as a copy and if you want to zoom it in a little bit so that you can see how much it has improved so yeah all these options are there and you can use however you want to and the Wi-Fi and sound panel still looks like this and also it shows which app is using the mic over here and let me actually show you this is how the Wi-Fi setting looks like still it is pretty similar and we have the other toggles and the sound toggle is there and you can increase or decrease the sound from here of course and as you can see if you tap here you can change the speakers from right here whatever speakers you have connected you can change it from here nightlight is working but it won't show in the screen recording of course and here let me actually show you if you tap on the date you can see the notifications on top you can clear all the notifications from right here this is how the calendar looks like over here and it has this circular mark whichever date it is right now today and you can click on this particular arrow to actually shrink the calendar if you want to but still it has this like text right here on the dev channel it shows this windows 11 pro inside a preview evaluation copy build number and stuff the 22458 pre-release build so this text still shows up in the dev channel one more thing is that yes the rar files you can't really like extract with winrar by just right clicking it still shows this kind of context kind of menu you have to show more then you can extract it with WinRAR but you can't extract it from right here you have to click on the show mode to actually extract a RAR file if it's a zip file if it's possible let me actually show you if I go into the downloads as you can see this is a zip file so if I right click on it yes I can extract it with the Microsoft's like zip extractor of course the WinRAR extracting option does not show up over here and if you click on OneDrive right now if you right click you get this kind of context menu we have this copy then we have expand and we have the open in new window option pin to quick access pin to start and other options are there also the calculator app looks like this still so yeah this is the new calculator app and as you are noticing whenever you are typing something this is how it looks like so yeah and this is how it looks like when you are minimizing or maximizing a particular app just like this that's this really cool animation in terms of the shortcuts yes you can still hold windows shift and s to actually take a screenshot just like this and this is how it will look like you can select a particular area then it will go into the snipping tool and from here you can just click here and that you can whatever you can draw and you can add a scale just like this or you can save it from right here so yes all these options are there also if you want to take a full screenshot just like this 
you can just click here but after clicking after clicking the shortcut windows shift and s on the keyboard you just click this and then it will take a full screenshot just like this and the weather app still looks like this you can refresh it from right here you can change and see other options from right here so yeah pretty much this is how the windows 11 insider preview developer channels build 22458 looks like and yes it definitely has a lot of performance improvements in my frank opinion so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now